Hello, um, so I want to do the next video in the music theory series. Um, I was going to show you the melodic and go back over the other kind of minor scales um, and I had a little Roland mono synth that I've got set up but I blew up the amplifier so uh, that's not going to happen and we're back stuck back in logic. Um, now as well um, I've also got problems with my headphones so I can't monitor through, well I'm monitoring through my computer um, and it means that I've got to kind of send the, the microphone through um, ScreenFlow. The problem there is that it, it comes out in mono, so apologies for all the kind of mess with the with the uh, monitoring. But I want to get this out, um, and I think you can get the gist of the video from, from what I'm going to show you. So um, we're going to go back to our old, old favorite uh, beat port, um, and I've got a track up here called um, Endymion um, by Orhan Nielsen. Uh, it's a, a kind of is a trans DJ, um, and he's written a this tune in G minor. Um, so I just wanted to demonstrate that you know some natural minor chords um, that he's used in in this just three of them. Um, he's used the root one, uh, so G minor. He's that used the sixth, which is E flat, and he's used the third, which is B flat. So if I just play a bit and then I'll just play you the chords. Now my ear is terrible. Um, I you know I it takes me a while to to hear it. So I think I've heard these right, and I'll play them for you. Okay, so what he's playing is um, E flat, uh, followed by the root, which is um, the G minor. So, and then he goes to B flat, okay, so, um, and if you go through whatever genre you like, you, you know, um, house, dubstep, uh, whatever drum and bass, you'll find quite a lot of usage of the minor. Um, and what I seem to be finding is most of them are natural minor. So if we just go back over and remind ourselves what the natural minor is. Um, so I've got an EXS24. I've kind of shortened down the tail on the sound. So the release on the envelope is right down and this makes sure that none of the notes kind of hang so you can actually see when I bring up the keyboard exactly what's been um, what's been pressed so okay so let's go through it um, if you remember the natural minor is the equivalent of the um, Aeolian scale so it's so that the Aeolian scale is there's your A and it's all the white notes between the A and the A so Okay. And then if you take those tonal relationships, like A to B is a full tone, um, and you apply it to whatever root note you want to start on, so let's start for now on the C, um, then we can apply those same relationships, and what you get is... And um, if you want to do it from another perspective, you can say... Well, um, I know my C major scale, which is all the white notes between C and C. I also know that I can flatten my third. I can flatten my sixth, which is the A, down to the, the A flat. And I can flatten my seventh, which is the B, down to the B flat. So you get... And that becomes your natural minor scale. Um, there's one more trick which I didn't tell you in the last video, um, but you can also have this thing called kind of relative majors as well. So um, the relative uh, the relative major is and the relative minor. What it basically means is if you take the relative major, that relative major has the um, same notes um, like sharpened and flattened as you would find in your your relative minor um, so in this case the natural minor has a relative major of E flat so it's all, always three semitones above okay. so if I know my E major scale which I do it doesn't help you if you don't know the major scales but 
um, your E major scale would be. And we can see that it's got an E flat, an A flat, and a B flat. So all you need to do is transfer those flattened notes in and start on the C. So again, we've already done this once now. So C, B, E flat, F, G, A flat, B, C. Okay, so that's just a refresher. And if you don't know how to construct the, you still don't understand that because I've gone through it quite quickly. Go back to the last video because it tells you how to pull together your C natural minor scale. And now what we're going to do is we're going to build our triads. Um, and it's just like we've always done, you take the root note, you take um, the third that complies to the scale, in this case E flat, and you take the fifth that complies to the scale, which is G. That's your C minor chord. Now actually most of the scales, sorry, most of the chords up the C minor scale sound pretty good. Um, the only one that's a bit of a kind of anomaly is the second one, and that's a diminished chord. So um, you play D, F, and this is where it goes a bit wrong. You, you have to play an A flat as well, so that complies with the scale. And the slight pro it, it's okay, but it's it's a bit jarring in sort of regular. If you if you put it in kind of progressive and um, kind of mo most EDM that. That diminished sound is going to sound a little bit um, kind of off. And the reason why we know it's diminished is if I was going to play the D major scale, which is that would give me my D major chord. Because we're starting on the C and we're in the C natural minor, I'm not allowed to play the F sharp, so I need to play the F. I'm not allowed to play the A, so I need to play the A flat. So to diminish any chord, you basically take the chord and you flatten the third and you flatten the fifth and that, that gives you a diminished sound so not great for EDM so we won't spend much more time on it okay the third chord in the scale is E major good F minor G minor A major so all the chords in the, apart from that kind of strange diminished second, all the chords in the um, natural minor actually work quite nicely. Um, the only thing from the last video is you don't get quite the nice because you've got the B flat. So it's not quite as definitive sounding as the as the G, G, G major. So if you didn't catch that, what I do have is a MIDI file for you. So what I've done is I've played in all of the chords up the scale. And if you're working with Logic, all you need to do is go File, Import, find the .mid file, and then you just click on Import. So you might have saved, saved it to your desktop from wherever you downloaded it from. Click on Import. Um, and it creates a track for you. So this is the one. This is not this 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 one here is not from this video. It's from the last one. Um, and you can see that Logic does all the work for you. So um, and then if you go into the file itself and you, you're still not quite sure of the name of your notes, you should be by now. But if you're not, then what you can do is just go into the event editor. So if you go into lists and then make sure you've got event editor uh, selected um, and if you can see I can s select any note by clicking on it and it shows me like the position and it shows me the name of the note so it tells me that's a G sharp um, and if you go right back to this, the beginning of this series we also know that a G sharp is because it lies between the G and the A it's one of those enharmonic, enharmonic notes so G sharp is also can also be called an A flat. It doesn't really matter. It's the same note. It's just um, it's just how you name it. Okay. So I'll play you um, a little bit with the, uh, the. It lends itself really well to kind of um, the natural minor and, and its associated chords. Lends itself really well to kind of just um, 
you know sort of EDM type tracks especially you know progressive and well actually pretty much all of the EDM styles work quite well in natural minor I'm just gonna kind of sort of jam I guess um, and just play a loop um, and just then play some chords from from that scale and you can see what I mean Okay, so pretty terrible playing there, but you, you get the idea that um, uh, apart from that kind of strange diminished, diminished um, second chord, um, the chords really lend themselves to kind of you know EDM production. Um, and just uh, played a tiny bit of one from the Swedish House Mafia, um, and well, badly, but uh, that was also in a natural minor, um, and it's uh, starting on the A key, um, and it's in D natural, D natural minor, if you want to know. Um, and that's in honor of Swedish House Mafia breaking up. Um, so I don't know that's breaking up because we uh, can't stand each other anymore. Um, or it's breaking up because we made so much money off the back of one. Uh, or it's breaking up because um, we just can't think of another song that tops one. I don't know. Um, but uh, sad to see those guys go. Um, I'm sure they'll do very well um, kind of separately. All right, um, some more stuff coming in the theory series. I'm kind of aiming to top it out around 15 or 16 videos. Um, uh, that's kind of where my knowledge starts to uh, kind of, I, I know more than that, but um, that's where I'm sort of really confident. Uh, and beyond that, the, the kind of things that I know, you know, I kind of would need a lot more reading and a lot more kind of practice on my side. So um, yeah, just a few more videos to come. I hope this still being useful for you. Um, and I hope uh, to see you probably next week on the next one. Cheers.